Welcome back. The National Judicial Council says that any judicial officer who is being investigated for alleged high-profile criminal offences will not be allowed to perform judicial functions until their cases are concluded. The council took this decision to end to the end of its two-day meeting, explaining that the resolution is to ensure transparency and elimination of corruption in the judiciary. It adds that judicial officers shall not be standing trial for alleged corruption-related offences and be performing judicial functions at the same time. The NJC had heavily criticised the arrest and detention of some judges across the country by the Department of State's offices over alleged corruption. In the meantime, well, it's time to go on to sports news, so we'll be joining Coyote Alayode at this point. Welcome now to Sports News. The Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, has confirmed that the country's under-17 team, Golden Eaglets, will participate in the Swan Under-19 Continental Cup Tournament. A team of 22 players and 10 officials of the Golden Eaglets will depart Nigeria next week for South Korea uh, for the championship. The Eaglets are scheduled to take on England on November the 9th, to play Iran on the following day and tackle the host team on November the 12th, NFF General Secretary Mohamed Sanusi said the team will be kept busy in 2017 with a series of international tournaments and friendly matches to have the players exposed and get them ready for the qualifying series of 2019 on the 20th AFCON. Meanwhile, Super Falcons head coach Florence Omagwemi has released the players of Rivers Angels and Bielsa Queens in the senior women's national team camp for Sunday's Women's Federations Cup final between both teams here in Lagos. Omagwemi said the players will be allowed to leave the team's camp in Abuja to travel to Lagos for the big clash at the Teslim Balogun Stadium on Sunday. This decision means Ibube Leye White, Osinachi Ohale, Ugo Njoku, Gladys Akba, uh, Shema Wogu, and Glory Roka will be part of the Rivers Angels squad. Bielsa Queen's duo of goalkeeper Alaba Jonathan and playmaker Osarinoma Ibinovia will also be on duty. Staying with football, the World Football Governing Body FIFA has unveiled a 10 man shortlist for the 2016 Best Female Player of the Year. The players for the awards have been selected by experts from the Committee for Women's Football and the FIFA Women's World Cup. Top on the list is the current holder, Carly Lloyd of the United States and the five-time winner, Marta of Brazil. The final three nominees for these categories will be unveiled on December the 3rd. The winner will be crowned at the Best FIFA World Award Ceremony in Zurich on January the 9th next year. Those are the major stories in the world of sports. Thank you so much for watching. The rest of the news continues in just a moment. Stay with us. The dangerous journey by sea to Europe uh, continues to claim more lives as 239 people are set to drown when two boats capsized just off the coast of Libya. This was made known to officials by survivors of one of the wrecks. The International Organization for Migration says more than 4,000 people have died trying to make the journey into Europe. This comes as the United Nations has warned that 2016 is the deadliest year for migrants making the journey. Meanwhile, the United States presidential election is seen as one of the most expensive and highly technical compared to other democracies in the world. After 200 years, there are a few aspects of the poll that are not known to some voters. Our correspondent Shima Kimbaloi reports. Old and the young, all one after the other. Voters across the United States are taking time out to visit the different voting stations to vote their candidate in the early voting system in time ahead of the November 8th election day deadline. Even the 87-year-old war veteran is not left out. 
This is the City Hall in Green Bay, and this is one of the centers where voters can come and cast their vote. Just above my shoulders, you find some of the voters who are trying to queue up. Some of them are getting out of work right now. One will wonder why people will want to do an early voting. It's still about five days or so before the election. The reason why I'm early voting is I will be on vacation. I'll be out of town on the day of the election. Voters are getting pressure from different candidates. Do some of these voters even know this? I just found that out. I didn't realize that we could change our votes. What is the sense behind this? Robert Zosi is an editor of a chain of newspaper media outfits for the USA Today network across the state of Wisconsin. He has covered several cycles of U.S. elections, and it makes sense of this. It's the idea that things may happen between the time you vote early and election day, and if you feel a desire to change your vote, you have the ability to do that. One will wonder that in this hot contest and the complexities in the American presidential race, who is likely to win the election? Uh, I think both candidates have a real shot at it. I, I, I wouldn't be able to guess who's going to win this, this uh, election. It's just too close. The American election system is a very unique one in several senses and sometimes confusing to even an average voter. But largely, it gives a huge freedom to voters. But then, the world will be watching closely to see how America conducts itself in this very one. From Green Bay in Wisconsin in the United States, Sean Wakimaloe reporting for Channel's Television News. And the main news again, the Independent National Electoral Commission today raised an alarm over security concerns ahead of November 26th governorship election in Ondo State. The resident electoral commissioner, Mr. Ulisha Gwangwaji, pointed out that the conduct of some politicians since the party primaries is capable of undermining security in the state. That's the news of 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.